Hi there, I'm Bella Rose from Tech City, back with the Tech City News Update. In the news today, newly appointed DG of the World Trade Organization, Ngozi Okonjo Iweala, trends for days and inspires a Be Like Ngozi challenge on social media. Also, Guaranteed Trust Bank customers complain heavily over their recent operations. And over in the US, Texas precisely, there have been power cuts which have also affected telcos and their networks. Details of all that after this. Now, earlier this week, former Finance Minister of Nigeria, Ngozi Okonjo Iweala, was appointed the Director General of the World Trade Organization after a slight tussle in the latter part of 2020. She tweeted on the 15th of February, it is done. Thank you at WTO members for finalizing my election today and making history. In the 73 years of GATT and WTO, honored to be the first woman and first African to lead. But now, the real work begins ready to tackle the challenges of WTO, forget business as usual, she tweeted. Reactions have now trailed her appointment as Twitter users have shared their two cents on what this means for Nigeria and other lessons that we can learn. At a shadow and a half on Twitter said, I don't think I have seen Ngozi Okonjo Iweala on suits before and she has worked with whites all her life. It is our fellow Nigerian employers here that will enforce suit and tie on you with penalties. On another hand, while some have posited that her new role does not do anything for Nigeria, few others say it's just me. Comparing her tenure as finance minister of the country to that of Kemi Adeoshuns and the current finance minister Zainab Ahmed. When Twitter user Anne Pettifort tweeted, I'm proud to have worked with the new director general of the WTO Ngozi Okonjo Iweala and her team in 2005 to write off $18 billion of Nigeria's debt and clear another $12 billion. Here we are at a Trafalgar Square demonstration in 2012 where we briefly met Nelson Mandela. Now, while these debates made the trend stable on Twitter, the Be Like Ngozi challenge also made her appointment a celebratory one on social media. The internet fashion challenge idea of Be Like Ngozi challenge is to replicate Ngozi Okonjo Iweala's trademark outfit, an African prince blouse, and a headgear styled in her trademark fashion tons of ladies and in fact children and some men have also joined in and though she is reported to have used her u.s citizenship to her advantage to get the wto dg job her choice of attire name and accent all stay true to her nigerian roots in other news, Guaranteed Trust Bank GTB has been in the news for not so pleasant news as Nigerians who reportedly wanted to celebrate Valentine's, make payments or simply do transfers have complained bitterly of their phones being, quote, stolen by the Orange Bank. Twitter user Sonny Olarutimi tweeted, I am protesting today at Useless Bank at GT Bank. I need my 90,000 Naira debited transfer without depositing receiver, nor made reversal. While Victor Asemota said, the only crime I committed was to give GT Bank my money. They said I should trust them. They betrayed that trust. Wale Adeton, on the other hand, suggested, can GT Bank give up on banking and just focus on fashion week and selling jumpsuits and Nankara pants? While at The Lazy Chef tweeted, if you saw me fighting at GT Bank at Chevron, I'm sorry. That's not how I behave. GT Bank has caused me so much embarrassment and frustration this past weekend. All the transactions I made went through, but never got to their destination bank accounts. No reversals were made either, he said. While the bank is yet to issue an official statement addressing the complaints of its customers and the heap of comments on social media, their Twitter handle at GT Bank gave a notice that online and USSD platforms would experience an outage which they say has now been restored. While they are yet to respond to our inquiries, which many have said is very uncharacteristic of the bank who is very proactive in responding to complaints, as of the time of this recording, the bank has now blocked replies to their tweets on social media. Before we go, U.S. state Texas has been hit by a historic winter, leaving many without power and affecting internet and cell phone services 
in the state. T-Mobile President of Technology, Neville Ray, said in a tweet, quote, We are experiencing network issues following severe weather in several areas of the country and especially across Texas. Our teams are working hard to restore service. Stay tuned, stay safe, and thank you for your patience. On the other hand, in response to a customer reporting service issues in Meadows Place, Texas, AT&T's support account said, Our team is already working towards a resolution. Bear with us. Reportedly, there have been prolonged power outages over in the U.S., which have also impacted the fiber companies used to provide connectivity from each cell site to their switching facilities. And we at Tech City sincerely hope that our viewers and supporters over in the USA and across the world, and of course everyone, stays safe, warm, and alive. That's all we have time for today on the Tech City News Update. I'm Belarus from Tech City saying thanks for watching. Happy February, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Remember to subscribe.